thank you. Uh, yes, so Lisa is a, is a private uh, infrastructure manager for high-speed rail. Um, it's a high-speed rail between Tours and Bordeaux that helps uh, to link Paris and Bordeaux in, in less than two hours, in just, just two hours. Uh, it's a little bit like HS1 in the UK, except that we don't manage any station, we only have a, a line. Um, 300 kilometers of railway. Uh, the contract, the concession contract is for 50 years. It was signed in 2011. And so uh, there were six years for construction and now it's been under operation since uh, 2017. We manage uh, nearly 10,000 hectares of land. Uh, you can see the numbers. Uh, railway domain, unused areas that were bought because we needed the land to, for the construction and now we're trying to either sell it back or use it for something else. We have uh, environmental offsets for nearly 3,800 hectares and reforestation for 2,200 hectares. So it's quite an extensive environmental uh, plan um, because the, the, the line that goes uh, north-south in France goes through uh, a number of uh, natural habitats and we have uh, 223 protected species that were impacted which meant that the, the offset program is really very very extensive altogether it was uh, over 20,000 hectares but when you mutualize them you, you go down to, to 3,800 so uh, we did the avoid reduce offset methodology and, uh, and it's a very long term program because we, all the commitments we have are for the duration of the concession. And um, what we did uh, when we started the, the program is that we decided to partner with uh, a lot of uh, local stakeholders, whether it's naturalist associations, scientists, chamber of agriculture, landowners. And it took a little bit more time to start the program because we had to consult everybody so that we, yeah. we agreed with the people who knew the land uh, what exactly was going to be done to meet the regulation. So instead of uh, just starting like we could do on any other project, we really started to, we wanted this partnership to, to build together with the local people uh, the program that was going to be put in place. And parallel to that, we decided to create a, an environmental observatory, which is uh, uh, made up of scientists mainly, uh, and the, the objective of this observatory is to measure the effectiveness of these, of these actions over the long term to increase knowledge, feedback, and improve practices. So these are the habitats that uh, we go through uh, and, and the 223 species are mentioned in the middle. The offset areas, uh, so the 3,800 3, hectares are made out of 329 different sites. 256 of them are not owned by Lisea, they are owned by landowners or farmers, and we have agreements with them. And uh, the rest was acquired by Lisea. So it means that about 30% is, is, is acquired and 70% is through agreements. These agreements initially were quite short term, some, some were only for three to five years at the beginning when, when we started the program in 2012, 2013, because the, the farmers didn't quite know what their commitments would be. So they didn't want to commit for the long term, but uh, uh, and our commitment was to find another piece of land if, if that agreement was to stop. But uh, now we've started to renew some of these agreements and the landowners accept to go for much longer uh, periods because they understand better what the commitments are and uh, they get a remuneration uh, for that and, and, uh, and it works very well. So uh, it's quite good. And in addition, to, in addition to the offset program, we have uh, 842 structures for the ecological continuity uh, on the infrastructure itself. So how is this monitored? So the, the observatory um, I, I mentioned, so we have the goals, um, which is enriched in, in the knowledge, feedback for future infrastructure project, and assess the, the functionality. Uh, it's based on monitoring reports, and there is a specific governance for that observatory. It has mainly six topics, uh, invasive plants, water, landscape, offset afforestation, land use, fauna, flora, and natural environments. 
So on all of these topics, we have specialists, scientists, and, uh, and uh, the work goes on. As I mentioned, the, these are the partners we have uh, from the, since the beginning of the project. So a lot of scientists, uh, we have association, and uh, all the association are the ones who know really well the specific knowledge of the local habitats. So we have different ones over the 300 kilometers of, of the line. And uh, all together, when we, when we put all, all these people together, it's about 500 people with whom we work uh, and who work on the environmental project at some time uh, during the year. Uh, we have institutions that also uh, coordinate the actions with the local actors because we, we don't always speak ourselves on our own with the farmers. We need people who, with whom we can sh have a dialogue and then who go and speak with the farmers uh, with us. And that brings them more confidence. And, uh, and then we have consultants uh, because we've decided uh, and agreed all the technical protocols for the ecology. And we have specialized consultants that go and make the measurements uh, on, on the land. And so um, three, three steps, the control. Controls are very important, but before we control, what we do is we spend a lot of time to make sure that the people who are going to put in place the measures understand exactly what they have to do. And uh, uh, the, the, the part, we, we spend a lot of time teaching them, making sure they understand what they have to do, because then when we go to the control, we, we, uh, we have about 98% of conformity on what is the objective of the measures. And that is uh, very important with landowners and farmers. It's not their, their expertise. And, and they really need to understand what they have to do. And uh, so the, the first step in all this is really the partnership and the relationship we have with them, the communication we have with them, the day-to-day -day job we have with them. And um, then to assess the functionality we, we have a, a monitoring that is on a five-year period to, to assess uh, the evolution of the habitats. Um, for the moment, uh, the first uh, results we have since the opening of the line are, are, uh, are, are very interesting. And, uh, and so we believe we are on the right track. And the biological monitoring. Um, so the, the contract we started in 2012, the, f the first... Uh, Offsets measures were, start, were starting to appear in 2014, 2015, and progressively we reached uh, the 3,800 hectares now we have in whole. We do about 40 monitoring every year, and uh, based on the sampling methods uh, by natural habitats and various kinds of species and umbrella species, uh, because we can't go on every site every year to do every control. And then we have a 10 year monitoring program uh, also that is in place. So these are the kinds of follow-ups that, that we do all along the line and, and uh, on the sites. And so where does that lead us then? We, by law in France, we have to do what we call a bilan bianco, uh, five years after the, the, the opening of the line. So this is done with the uh, observatory. We, 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 we have finished the, the review at the moment. It's been given to the state for uh, approval, and it will be published mid, mid this year, approximately. And then we're going to organize seminars to, to share the conclusions, uh, at least where we are at the moment on, on all these measures. There will be another uh, report uh, after another five years and, uh, and another 10 years. And um, then what we thought is uh, this partnership, uh, it's to, to carry out the measures, but also we need to see how on the long term we're going to be able to, to monitor them and increase knowledge. So what we decided is uh, uh, we, we developed an app, uh, a system based on a, a GIS, and it has all the information that we have ourselves on, on uh, all the offset measures, which means that for each piece of land, we know exactly what is the ecological uh, specifications that we need to meet. We know exactly what work are done by the landowners we know exactly what measurements are made, and all the results, the controls, uh, are all stored in this system. And the particularity of the system is that it's open and it's available to all the association we work with. 
it's available for the state services and we've discussed with them what their needs would be so some want something absolutely simple just where they can see what they what concerns their own uh, area some want something when they can have global reporting and uh, and we, we do our own reporting to the state to make sure that we meet our obligations but the state can the state can also do its own research on all the data that is very available in there and our objective is, is over the years to to in, enrich this with all the data available um, on the infrastructure itself today we use a lot of data analysts and uh, and artificial intelligence we are not at that stage yet on this it's, at the moment it's just a database with reporting but we hope that uh, as we progress, and we've seen today uh, that there is a real need for uh, more monitoring and more analysis of the data, we hope that uh, on this, given the scale of our project on the, on the 3,800 3, hectares, on the duration of the contract, which is 50 years, we should be able to have something which could be very useful. And, and, and the particularity of this is it's fully transparent uh, on all our obligations, on all our work, and accessible to whoever we are partnering with wants to wants to have access to the data that's it thank you